question that I get is what to do when you have a bat in your house. Um, so number one, I say try really hard not to freak out, even though even when I had a bat recently in my house, it was hard not to freak out, <laughs> even though I'm a bat biologist. You don't expect to have a bat in your house. So um, one thing you can do is try to enclose the bat into one room and then open a window, take the screen out, and the bat will be trying to get outside. So um, you can kind of try to move them. Um, if you have leather gloves, um, you can wear those, keep yourself protected, long sleeves. If there's any possibility that the bat has bitten anyone in the family, um, you want to call your doctor and public health immediately. Um, but usually you can kind of shoo them out. Um, if it's during the winter or one of the migration seasons, a lot of times they're just exhausted. So they might just be laying on the ground. Um, a lot of times you can take a box and kind of put it over the top of them and slide like an envelope or something kind of thick. Um, cereal box works great. Um, and then you can move the bat outside. Lots of bats can't take off from the ground. So you want to try to put them on like a shed or a, a tree branch so that they can hang upside down and then drop into flight. Otherwise, you know, they're just going to be laying on the ground and they'll have to crawl to something to get up. If you have a lot of bats in your house, you will want to do what we call an emergence count. We do those at Roost. So if you have a couple people, typically at night, um, around sunset, kind of around your house, as sunset hits, the bats are going to be leaving and you can see where the bats are coming out. And that will let you know how they're getting in, most likely. Um, you want to make sure that you're not going to enclose the bats in your house. So ideally, you would be watching you find out where the bats are coming in and out. And then in the winter, when the bats leave, most bats in Illinois are gonna be heading down south to uh, migrate or they're gonna hibernate over the winter. So when the bats leave in the winter, you can make sure to close up your house um, and make sure they're not able to get back in. Bats have extremely strong sight fidelity. So a lot of people say, can you just come remove the bats? Um, and it's not that easy. You always have to make sure they can't get back in because they will continually try to come back. So you want to make sure you know where they're coming in and out and you can close that up um, when the bats are not in the house. Mm -hmm.